the best Bitcoin miner to buy right now, right? I mean, it's, it's an easy question to ask. Maybe you Google it, but let me break it down. We're gonna be looking at data. I've got one of the two best miners you can buy in hand right now. I've got the other one on order. So I've got some pretty interesting data that may surprise you. One of these is impressive. My name is Vosker on the Vosker YouTube channel. I'm a freaking nerd that loves crypto. I've been building out my own mining farm. Finally, over the last year, I've been able to get real serious about it. Start working on building the mining farm of my dreams. Okay, the backbone of my mining farm is Bitcoin mining. Uh, so this is absolutely just critical to the core mission for me. And I'm gonna share all my research and data with you here today. Uh, as long as you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, then just get out of here. And at the end of the video, we're also going to talk about this latest craziness and caspa mining so uh let's dig into it that was a pun and it was intended caspa's going nuts right so we'll talk about that here at the end up 50 percent in the last week crazy bitcoin though top in the charts as always on a mission all right other well as always after ethereum was no longer mineable uh because ethereum for a while was putting out twice as much daily emission, new mine coins, new money per day than Bitcoin was in the craziness of ETH mining. $34 million in the last 24 hours. Yes, there's a halving on the horizon. We're gonna talk about that later. But as it stands, this is the current situation. I was pretty freaking excited and fortunate to get one of the micro BT What's Miner M60Ss in directly from uh, actually What's Miner pretty early. Uh, these things are not cheap but their performance will impress you. You see this and it's like five grand, okay? And that's, and this is on ASIC Marketplace, they're a reseller, and I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of using a reseller, but I will say, don't forget to punch in the code VOSCOIN to save some coin. Yes, it supports the channel, but even more importantly, it, it supports your wallet. We also have another code with Altair, uh, which saves you some money over here, but I bring up them in particular because they've got some S19s in-house in the US, right? And it's less than $1,000. Okay, so like you could buy this and have this in a couple of days, depending where you live in the USA, for 900 bucks. But there's a big discrepancy here on how much you're mining, how much it earns, your electricity, and we're gonna talk about efficiency, right? Joules of Terahash, what that really means. Um, I have added these Altair Tech uh, PDUs to my farm, and gosh, are they freaking cool and useful and just very simply and well-designed with a watt amp readout. Uh, it's, it's pretty small, but it's just the size you need. Uh, it's sweet. Uh, so let's kind of get on, ta on target here. And let me know in the comments, like if you're tracking as you watch this video, or if I hop to all over the place too much, or if I'm talking too fast, I'm always open to constructive criticism. Okay, but if you just got some nonsense to say, then shove it. All right, so MicroBT, what's minor? This is their official website. They've got so many scam sites out there. Impersonating them, watch out for that. Uh, so we see, like out of the box, right? You know, five thousand dollars, not including tariffs and delivery. We'll talk more about that later. Two models here, 170 terahash at 4,600, and then the 186 terahash at 5,000 bucks. They both boast the same power efficiency, uh, so that's critical. So all you're really buying here is more density if they are truly uh, on par with each other in performance. So this is one of the two best Bitcoin miners in the world you can buy right now. Versus, you're in the blue corner, the bit main amp miner s21 this is not just the spiritual successor this is the successor to the s19 series that has dominated bitcoin mining over the last several years okay this thing is big it's bad it's powerful and it's very efficient at least that's what they say i may mine bitcoin at my own place but maybe you don't want to mine it at your place a service like musk miners may be what you're looking for then they host miners, they deploy miners. And I even have one of their miners synced up to my mining pool account, which is one of the really cool parts because it mines to your account, the Bitcoin gets paid out to your address, right? So I got it going straight to cold storage. Learn more about Musk miners and how they can help you get started mining today with the link out in the video description below.
depending on you know, if you're able to buy a thousand of these maybe you can even try to buy them uh their prices have ranged from seven thousand dollars to four grand depending who you bought from where and when and uh you know there's some different discrepancies there uh so asic marketplace has a bulk order in for these you can grab one from them with january delivery for four thousand five hundred and forty nine dollars before punching in the boss coin coupon code you can go out a little bit further and you can order a minor more in advance at a lower price point. This is what they call futures orders and stuff like that. Much like everyone else in the world, if I buy something, I wanna get it sooner versus later, uh, especially with the having on the horizon. I mean, this is basically buying a minor with a delivery date estimated beyond the Bitcoin halving. Uh, so that's kind of laying the groundwork here. So let's look at the Bitcoin halving calculator. Uh, so the amount of money mined per day because of the amount of coins mined per day will be cut in half at the halving. Uh, historically halvings, pre-day, crazy bull runs, new all-time highs, all that stuff. You know, we'll see. I'm not here to hi overhype this or whatever. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, approximately sometime in April, all right, uh, the money your Bitcoin miner is making, or even more importantly, the amount of Bitcoins your Bitcoin miners are mining per day is going to be cut in half. So if you mined point one Bitcoin yesterday, you will be mining 0 0.05 Bitcoin the day after the halving occurs. Uh, so if you mined 100 bucks of Bitcoin, then well, now you mined 50. Or maybe we should use the number 200 bucks a day because we were mining 200 bucks a day in Bitcoin uh, a few months ago in our digital shovel mini pod. And out of nowhere, two months later, that just little short went viral and it got over 2 million views on YouTube. And I just wanna you know show you some of these comments uh, a few good ones, a lot of sheep, a lot of ignorance. Um, but one, it's just interesting to see like a very general view of this. How much negativity and pushback there is for just me over here doing my thing with Bitcoin mining? And uh, I mean, how many people just want to tear you down instead of build you up? And all I want to ask is, well, what are you doing? All right, because I'm in the trenches. I'm scrapping daily. But anyway, we'll get back on topic here, right? Uh, so that's just a little bit of an aside, but it's been crazy. The Micro BT What's Miner M60S. Okay, let's look at the pros. One of the biggest pros and something people will so quickly overlook. You're looking at this miner, sweet, looks familiar if you're familiar with What's Miners, right? It's a silver box, it makes money, it's an ASIC miner, it's a purpose-built custom computer for Bitcoin mining, SHA-256 algorithm. But what about the power connection? Oh, great question. I'm glad you asked. It's a C19, C20 cable setup. This is common. Even in that PDU I mentioned earlier, when you look at the power connector on the what's miner, the other end of the cable plugs into this, okay? That's what this is rated for. That's what these are made for. If you're new to this, I, I just made a one hour guide on getting started with mining and go over all of this stuff. You know, so you look at this and you look at existing mining infrastructure. Uh, I mean, I, lo I look at the PDU and the pod. I look at other PDUs I have, like the trip light one. I, I mean, I, I think about the L630Rs, L630 receptacles, everything I have set up. None of that is set up to handle these S21 miners. And you look at this screenshot, and this is a mistake on ASIC Marketplace. They've got an S19 shown here, okay? Because these, these S21s, just make sure you understand what you're doing. Um, if you order these, they have a different plug. This thing doesn't work with any existing mining farms. Nothing. So, like, just people are that are paying attention or especially have existing infrastructure are going to be slow to adopt this. This means that you're not going to have as much accessibility with PDUs. You're not going to have as much accessibility with cables. You're going to end up having a harder time getting started. You're going to end up paying more money. You know, whether or not the previous plug designs and choices were the right decision or not, it's what they've been for quite literally years, okay? When you go all the way back to the Bitmain Antminer S9, which was the leading Bitcoin miner from basically 2016 on for a few years, right? It had a detached power supply, but that a C13, C14 cable went into the back of that. And then they moved to the S17 and the S19s. Both of those miners had two C13s going into the front of it. Many other miners used a similar setup or a single C13, C14, or a C19, C20. Uh, so this new cable has not been seen on any miner generally speaking uh, especially anything sold in volume I cannot really understate how much of a negative that is but now check this out I only have the m60s not the s21 in hand yet uh, so when we come down here 
and we look at the performance of my miner over the last 24 hours, uh, it's been consistently performing great. The 24 hour hash rate as registered by the pool is 196, right? It's consuming about 3,500 watts independently measured by us. So if we go 3,500 uh, divided by 196, and because the only thing that matters is what the mining pool says you're doing also, by the way, because what, you, what the mining pool says you're doing is what you get paid off of. We're actually hashing at 17.9 joules a tera hash even though this miner is advertised to do 18.5. And please understand that this is good news. This is a compliment. This is, you know, 0.7 uh, joules of terahash better. That's a significant efficiency bump. And to be honest, it puts it very close to the S21 out of the box. As we're working through this, I realized that I was all hyped up on Mountain Dew. And originally I was supposed to receive a 186 terahash a second model, but I actually have, I have a 194 terahash a second model. So it's performing on average a little bit above its advertised uh, specs there, uh, but it's not the big leap over the 186 that I had originally thought. Either way, still love the miner. Everything else stands at the power consumption compared with the hash rate. It's still sitting at that 17.5 watts of tear hash advertised you know like out of the box right interesting i noticed with these what's miners we look at their labels and on their labels they're not only saying the model they're also saying their efficiency rating so this one is literally rated at 17.5 as opposed to the 186 and some of the others that may have a different efficiency rating and i guess that's going to all be notated on these models uh moving forward so just something to be aware of changes the dynamic a little bit here but i'm still choosing the what's minor m60 series over the s21 and i really cannot understate how impressive the m60s has been there's a lot of overlap in parts here right the power supply it's using is the p222b and it shares the same control boards with the m50s the m30s right and those are the two previous generation of what's miners uh, you know, what, what's minor Bit, Bitcoin miners, if you're unfamiliar. Uh, so, you know, there's going to be decent parts availability. All you have to do is flash the firmware on the control board uh, to get it to the latest version to run on this. All you got to do is just swap the power supply and then that's good. That works. So basically mining farms and even just miners with some existing parts will gravitate towards this over the S21 because that's a new power supply because it's a new power connector. Will the old power supplies maybe work on it? Well, that's why I said maybe already. Uh, we don't know yet. And let's answer the question of like, how much do these earn, right? Well, let me bring you some real world mining data. We don't need to look at some mining profitability calculator or anything like that. And we see some more data, right? We see we see a couple days ago, I averaged 199. Yesterday, 197. It was a little hotter on these two days. I think those uh, may have uh, dragged the numbers down a little bit. We look at these, you know, I don't know. We'll just we'll just say this is the average or, or, or close enough here, right? So how much is 0. 0.00042 BTC? Can I get a freaking dark theme in here? Well, it's disrespected me. I thought, I, we, I thought we'd go way back. So that's about 15 bucks a day. And when Bitcoin was over 37 grand, that was nearly 16 bucks. After I take out my electricity bill, which cost this, this thing cost me about like, you know, seven, eight bucks a day to run. Uh, and so I'm, I'm realizing a profit here daily of at least $7. And even if nothing else changed and Bitcoin halves, this miner will essentially break even or tread water for me at my electricity rate. It makes it much more viable as a smaller scale miner in the long term uh, game here. If you have a better electricity rate, obviously this is just going to be better for you across the board than me. Obviously, there's a purchase price involved here, too. Uh, but, you know, that's obvious and to be expected. And at the end of the day, everyone who's buying Bitcoin miners and building a Bitcoin mining farm and buying Bitcoin, I mean, we're all doing it because we think Bitcoin's going to go up in the future or we know fiat sucks and we know that your buying power increases year over year, uh, generally speaking, or, you know, several years over year. Uh, with Bitcoin, and it's literally the exact opposite with your USD that sucks, you know, dollars suck, fiat suck, and they, com they uh, continue to be inflated and just becoming less and less and less valuable. So, yeah. To contrast the earnings that are projected for the S21 versus this, I mean, it's going to be a very small boost. I mean, we're probably talking like 2.5, maybe at best, you know, 
0043. So as it stands, I mean, to be frank, you know, you, you look at the M60S versus the S21, what's the best Bitcoin miner to buy right now? I think it's the M60S, largely due in part to the power cable issue. I mean, it's just, at least for me, I'm gonna get S21 in as soon as I can, uh, but I'm not excited about it. I can't just throw it up on a shelf. I gotta redesign things. I gotta waste money. I gotta waste time changing things, redesigning things. It just seems stupid. And, and, and whether or not, you know, that's a better plug long-term or, you know, that's what they should have used in retrospect, uh, the bottom line is they didn't, okay? And this is not a new industry. Bitcoin has been ASIC mined for, God, I mean, about about a decade. Uh, obviously, it's rapidly developed and advanced over those years, but, you know, facts are facts. It's as simple as that. Uh, so the M60S is, like, absolutely the, the miner of choice uh, for me. Uh, maybe you'll gravitate towards the S21, depending on your situation. There's also the T21, uh, which is kind of similar uh, in, in this equation. Uh, it's basically a worse version of the, the S21, and it's going to come in at a lower price point. Uh, What's Minor pretty much has the same kind of thing with their M60, but again, it's just kind of like the same thing, but a little worse uh, and a little cheaper. Uh, you know, as always, you do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just here to have fun, make some sweet videos. Hope you enjoy them. If you don't, well, then why are you still watching? <laughs> but um, I'm going to close it out with 10 seconds of tails. You run 10 seconds of tails on every video. And while we close that out, I want to bring up... Castle's been going crazy. It recently hit some new all-time highs, all the Binance craziness and all that. These miners are just absolute cash cows, right? And then if we take a timestamp of just like when I'm recording this video, which would probably be like a couple days, maybe like two days before you watch it. I mean, these miners, like this thing costs, depending when you buy it, like if you buy it right now, probably, you know, eight, nine grand. Uh, it's making $180 a day. I mean, this thing costs like seven bucks a day to run for me. Uh, the profits on these uh, Casper ASIC miners are absolutely just unreal. They're nuts. I mean, even the little ones are earning three, six dollars a day. And uh, I'm getting paid out in Bitcoin on this. So these are actually, ironically, my most profitable Bitcoin miners. Uh, but a lot of people don't understand that the amount of coins that Casper puts out decreases quite literally monthly. It halves basically annually. And, uh, you know, the majority of coins have already been mined, you know, for better and worse there. And uh, the network hash rate is just ballooning. So the amount of actual coins you're mining, which is decreasing your mining revenue, um, it continues to go down. Uh, the competition is insane. These miner manufacturers cannot make these miners fast enough. So it's, it's very crazy. And if that price pulls back, I mean, a lot of people are going to get truly wrecked. But on the other hand, as Caspo continues to just straight doom guy, rip and tear, then, uh, I mean, a lot of people have are making a lot of money. Most people have broken even on their Caspa ASIC miners within the last three months or less. Um, and it's just been ver a very good time. It's been fun. It's been lucrative. It's been uh, rejuvenating in the mining sector to see an altcoin just absolutely rip. And, uh, you know, a lot of miners are just having a good time with that. Uh, but, you know, what the future holds, will there be a new miner that just completely displaces these uh, based on way better design and efficiency? Uh, this is rapidly developing. It's high risk, high reward. Whereas Bitcoin mining is honestly essentially low risk, you know, low reward, maybe medium reward. Uh, I rest easy with Bitcoin miners. I stress about the Casper miners. I'm like, you guys got to work hard, no days off. And, and that power supply better be dang good because uh, if you go down... I mean, that's crazy. I, I need to get another spare power supply here in person because if you lose a day of mining with these, uh, like, you know, depending on the miner model, you're losing, you know, 10, 20, 30, $150 a day uh, in coin you could have mined. So, hey, just a quick note there for whatever it is. Um, I love this stuff. It's fun. It's engaging. Uh, you know, as always, do what you want to do. Only thing I'm going to make you do is subscribe if you haven't already. And please hit the thumbs up. And if you know anyone who would care at all about this video, if you take the time to share it with that with them, one, I appreciate it. Two, it helps with the algorithm big time. Uh, you know, it just helps the channel overall and helps support me keep doing this stuff. So, hey, thanks. See you later. Ah.